evaluate this numerical expression, this notation is the greatest integer not greater than x, square brackets, x is the greatest integer not greater than x. For example, square brackets, 3.2 equals 3, square brackets, 7 equals 7, let an equal 199 times n over 97. 1 is less than or equal to n is less than or equal to 96. n is a positive natural number. And curly brackets, am be the decimal parts of an. We have an equals square brackets, an plus curly brackets, an. The first term is the integer parts of an. The second term is the decimal parts of an. Then as can be written as square brackets a1 plus square brackets a2 plus so on plus square brackets a96. Since a n plus a97 minus n equals a hundred and ninety-nine times n over ninety-seven plus a hundred and ninety-nine times ninety-seven minus n over ninety-seven a hundred and ninety-nine times n and a hundred and ninety-nine times minus n cancel. So we have a hundred and ninety-nine times ninety-seven over ninety-seven, which is a hundred and ninety-nine and ninety-seven is a prime number. So a n must be not an integer, that is, the decimal parts of a n doesn't equal zero, thus the decimal parts of a n plus the decimal parts of a 97 minus n equals one, a one plus a two plus so on plus a96 can be written as a1 plus a96 plus so on plus a48 plus a49. We can see that there are a total of 96 terms and 48 pairs of terms. Each pair of terms equals a hundred and ninety-nine. There are forty-eight pairs of terms, so we can now write a hundred and ninety-nine times forty-eight, which is equal to nine thousand five hundred and fifty-two. A one plus A two plus so on plus a96 can be written as the integral parts of a1 plus the integral parts of a2 plus so on plus the integral parts of a96 plus the decimal parts of a1 plus the decimal parts of a2 plus so on plus the decimal parts of a96. The decimal parts of 
a one class the decimal parts of a two class so on class the decimal parts of a ninety six can be written as the decimal parts of a one plus the decimal parts of a ninety six plus so on plus the decimal parts of a forty eight plus the decimal parts of a forty nine. We know that the decimal parts of a n plus the decimal parts of a ninety seven minus n equals one. So each pair of terms equals one. There are forty eight pairs, so we can now write equals forty eight times one, which is equal to forty eight, as equals the integral parts of a one plus the integral parts of a two plus so on plus the integral parts of a ninety six, which is equal to a one plus a two plus so on plus a ninety six minus the decimal parts of a one plus the decimal parts of a two plus so on plus the decimal parts of a ninety six. We know that a one plus a two plus so on plus a ninety six equals nine thousand five hundred and fifty two. We know that the decimal parts of a one plus the decimal parts of a two plus so on plus the decimal parts of a ninety six equals forty eight. So we can now write equals nine thousand five hundred and fifty two minus forty eight, which is equal to nine thousand five hundred and four.